I'm advocate Nikita Pandit and I will be speaking on the International Intellectual Property Rights Conventions and you're watching Legal Bites. The main objective of this video is to understand the conventions, treaties and agreements that various nations have entered into for protecting the intellectual property rights in a standard way. Nationally as well as internationally, the intellectual property rights conventions play a very important role in ensuring the formulation and adherence to the internationally established standards of intellectual property. The international agreements and conventions bring all the laws and protection measures in intellectual property all over the world on a uniform platform. Some of the important conventions and treaties are Bern Convention for Copyright 1886, which was last amended in 1979. Convention establishing the World Intellectual Property Organization since 1975. Madrid Protocol for Trademarks 1989, where India became a member in 2013. Paris Convention of 1883, where the priority rights were emphasized in India in 1998. There was Patent Cooperation Treaty of 1970, in, in which India became a member since 1998. World Trade Organization and Trade Related Aspects of Intellectual Property Rights that is TRIPS Agreement since 1995. Nairobi Treaty for Protection of Olympic Symbol since 1983. Rome Convention for Protection of Performers, Producers of Phonograms and Broadcasting Organizations since 1961. Budapest Treaty, the international recognition of the deposits of microorganisms for the purpose of patent procedures since 2001. There was Marrakesh Treaty to facilitate access to the published works for the persons who are blind, visually impaired or otherwise print disabled. This was since 2014. Washington Treaty on Intellectual Property in respect of integrated circuits since 1990. And there was Convention for the Protection of Producers of Phonograms against the unauthorized duplication of their phonograms, 1971. Now I would cover some important international conventions, agreements and treaties. The first is Paris Convention of 1883, which was applied to patents, trademarks, industrial designs, service marks, trade names and geographical indications. This was the first time that an attempt was made to protect the creators of intellectual property. The convention covered three categories, national treatment, right of priority and repressing the unfair competition. National treatment means providing equal status to the intellectual property of other contracting nations like that of the nationals. In case of patents and industrial designs, the priority date will be considered that is the date of filing applications for the first time in any contracting party will be considered as the date of filing even when the application for the same is made in another contracting nations within 12 months in case of patents and within 6 months in case of industrial designs of the first application. It provided that one contracting nation cannot deny the patent just because the other contracting nations denied it. This convention was revised at Brussels, Washington, Hague, London, Lisbon and Stockholm. The Bern Convention was adopted in the year 1886. It provided protection to the authors such as painters, writers, poets, lyricists, musicians. It gave minimum protection to these authors of the work and made some special provisions for the compliance by the developing countries so that they become competent to incorporate the similar provisions as that of the other countries. This convention was based on three main principles. The first was that every nation which is the party to the convention should get equal protection for their copyright in all the other nations which form parties to the convention. The second was that such protection was not based on any conditions to be fulfilled. It was given automatically by the virtue of it being a party to the convention. The third was that the protection to copyright in the country where the work originated had nothing to do with the protection in other country, but the period of protection in the country of origin was considered. If that was lesser than the protection in the contracting nation, then the country could deny further protection 
more than the period offered by the nation of its origin. The exclusive rights of the authors were recognized, such as rights of reproduction, translation, adaptation, publication, and along with that, even the moral rights of the authors were protected. Minimum 50 years of protections was provided after the death of the author. Then there was Rome Convention of 1961. This convention protected the rights of the performers, producers of phonograms and broadcasting organizations. The performers were protected from certain acts which were done to publish their performance in contradiction to the terms of agreement or without their permissions. Phonogram here means fixing the audio sounds in performances or any other sounds. This convention protected the rights of the producers of such phonograms to prevent others from reproducing it. It also protected the rights of the broadcasters from their work being rebroadcasted by another person. A minimum of 20 years of protections was ensured by this convention to the aforementioned entities from the date of fixing the sound in the phonogram, the date of performance or the date of broadcast to the public. WIPO, International Labour Organization and United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization that is UNESCO are jointly responsible to administer the terms of this convention. Then there was WIPO convention which was signed in 1967. It came into force in 1970 and further amended in 1979. WIPO is an organization on the international platform based on Bern Convention and Paris Convention and all the other treaties and conventions. The main purpose was to offer protection to the intellectual property on a global level and administration of the treaties. All the nations who are the members of United Nations or who are party signing the statute of International Court of Justice or who are invited by WIPO General Assembly become the party to WIPO Convention. Patent Cooperation Treaty was passed in the year 1970 to get protection for the patent rights in all the contracting nations by filing an international application of patents. All the countries who are the party to this convention or treaty become bound by the date of filing the patent first time in the contracting nation. Then there was Madrid Protocol of 1989 aimed at making the Madrid system in such a way that the nations which were the parties to the protocol could easily adapt the laws and regulations in their own country. The Madrid Agreement first concluded in 1891 and then it was revised at Brussels, Washington, Hague, London and Stockholm. The Madrid system provided for international registration of trademarks which would ensure protection in all the nations who were the party to the contract who had obtained registration in the country of origin. The information is given to WIPO Bureau and then the Bureau examines it. If there are no problems, the mark is published in the WIPO Gazette of International Marks. The protection is for a period of 10 years and can be renewed for the next 10 years on its expiry. Trade related aspects of intellectual property rights was a part of an agreement entered into in the year 1995, which also established the World Trade Organization. TRIPS included within itself all the agreements within the purview of WIPO, Bern Convention and Paris Convention. All the members of World Trade Organization also have to follow the TRIPS agreement and cannot decide not to follow it. TRIPS provide for a uniform trade principle, which is to be followed when dealing with the treatment given to all types of intellectual properties. It balances the economic interest of the creator with the social aspects such as betterment of environment, health, culture, society. Traditionally, TRIPS did not cover the digitalization of the world and developments in science and technology. So, WIPO came up with WIPO Copyrights Treaty and WIPO Performances and Phonograms Treaty to address these issues and alter the position that TRIPS could not do. WIPO Copyrights Treaty of 1996 passed under the Bern Convention extended the protection to the works on the digital platform like computer programs, compilations like databases. 50 years of protection was prescribed for any kind of work. It also provided for protection of the information which was available 
online such as encryption and other materials anything that was online vipo performances and phonograms treaty of 1996 protected the performers and phonogram producers rights this treaty protected their rights and also gave the performers the moral rights of being attributed to their work and protected them from their work being distorted or destroyed in any way this treaty also gave minimum of 50 years protection to the creators and also standardized the equitable remuneration of the performers and producers of phonograms these are some important agreements treaties and conventions that provide protection to the intellectual property on an international platform thank you mm-hmm.